Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn quick selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, you can save a lot of time and effort making a selection with the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool in Adobe Photoshop is one of the most effective and time saving tool. With it, you can quickly and easily select any part of any image. Now friends, like all tools, the quick selection tool has its own set of tricks and tips that can help you to get even a better result. So you can find a quick selection tool in a toolbar, just long press on this button and you can see a three selections which is object selection tool which we already covered in our last video. In this video we are going to cover quick selection tool and next we are going to see magic wand tool. So friends, by pressing W, you can activate this selection tool or if you want to go to a quick selection tool or object selection tool, then just press shift from your keyboard and press W with it and you can switch to the other selection tool like this. So friends, now I'm just selecting this quick selection tool. So friends, when you choose an area with the quick selection tool, Photoshop detect and select the edges so you don't have to trace them manually. So this is the secret of quick selection tool. So friends, first we are going to cover all the property of quick selection tool and then we are going to cover this example where I'm showing you how you can use a quick selection tool to select this image. So friends, first we are start with this example. Okay, let's start with uh, this example where we are going to uh, remove this person from the background. Also, we can change a background color with a desaturate or a black and white. So first we are going to select this quick selection tool. Okay. Now here you can see some property the same as the previous our video. We can see a new selection as well as a add to selection and a subtract to selection, which means you can select a new selection as well as if you want to add a new selection when this tool you can select a new as well as you can subtract. So with these three parts, the same as we are learned in our previous video. Now next is this part. What is it? So the brush pop-up menu allow you to adjust the size of the brush. Now as you can see from here, you can change the size of this brush. So click on the arrow to open the menu and use the slider to resize the brush. A different size brush enable you to select a larger areas quicker or refine your selections better with a smaller brush. So the smaller brush gives you a more accurate result. So right now I'm just make it 15. Fine. You can change a hardness as well as spacing. So this is all you have to do by yourself. Just change the value and see the result what happened. Fine. Now the next is sample all layer. So check a sample all layer if you want the selections of factor in information from all the layers in your project and not only the active layers. So we just leave it off. And next you can see enhance edges. Now then check the enhance edges to reduce the roughness of the selection boundary. The button automatically apply edges refinement to the selection which will help when cutting an object out of the background to produce a cleaner look. So this is the property of this quick selection tool. Now let's start with our example. So make sure your quick selection tool is enabled and as you can see our mouse pointer will change to quick selection tool from here as I'm showing you you can increase like this so this one is better because it is visible now I'm just drag area which I want to select and as you can see so is it done no not yet still this part is missing just again click here this part and as you can see is it selected like this I'm just selecting this part and this part is also selected okay just zoom so you can get a proper area fine okay friends so this is a, this is a quick selection tool i'm just still need to select this part still we have some issue over here we want to remove this part so we are going to use keyboard shortcut alter in windows operating system so just press alt and select this part okay so right now we don't want this much big brush i'm just reduce the size and now i'm going to just apply this okay plus for the adding and alt for the subtracting you just need to play with these 
all tools and you can be a master of these tools so friends as you can see our selection is done now i am going to tell you one more tips where you can change a black and white background which look very good now to colorize the background i'll invert the selection by pressing shift plus ctrl plus i like this okay so as you can see the our inverse selection is done this is for a windows operating system and if you are using a mac operating system then you need to use shift plus command plus i now which will deselect a main subject this is our main subject which will deselect my main subject and select everything around it instead so friends now i am just select my layer and here i am applying a hue and saturation So as you can see our background become black and white you can also change this thing okay see you can colorize your background like this so friends this is our next example okay so i'm just selecting our quick selection tool and just drag the area and as you can see the quick selection tool applies magic okay just zoom and make sure selection is proper so as you can see my selection is very nice fine still we have to remove this part so for that just press alt in your keyboard and as you can see you can easily remove this part okay i'm just colorize my character and make a black and white background just press ctrl plus shift plus i okay now here from here you can add u plus saturation and i'm just saturate this to minus so boom so like this you can do a very good quick selections in adobe photoshop or you can create very beautiful image or editing so our next example is this where we are going to remove this yoga teacher from the background just select a quick selection tool so i'm just selecting my quick selection tool and now i'm start over my mouse pointer over this actor so as you can see some unwanted part is selected over here just press alt in your keyboard and you can remove those part but first of all i am just increase the size okay now i am just use a alt in my keyboard to remove this part like this from here you can also do these all the things for adding for subtracting as well as new okay so almost our selection is done like this fine we need to add this hair properly just selecting this hair okay so just zoom so that you can see all the selection is proper or not okay as you can see we don't need this part so i'm just pressing minus over here to remove this part okay press alt in your keyboard and it will be automatically detect this part you can also use this just decrease the size of the brush so you can easily select this okay press minus press minus in your keyboard to so deselect this part like this so our work is done now i'm just inverting the selection and changing the background see it's look very beautiful so like this you can do a very creative things in adobe photoshop so as you can see this is our original footage and this is our edited footage with a quick selection tool so friends our last footage is this okay we are just using this quick selection tool fine increase the brush size and we are just selecting this actor okay 
as you can see the hair part is not getting properly removed so like this you can select this so friends like this you can select this model okay now the same way we can use ctrl shift i okay to see how it's look i'm just using the un saturation okay so as you can see this is our original footage and this is the footage with the quick selection tool still some part of the our previous footage is not gone properly because the quick selection tool not go in that much detail for that we are going to use a magic wand tool in our next video so friends that's all about a quick selection tool in adobe photoshop in the next video we are going to learn magic wand tool in adobe photoshop thank you so much guys